Ronald and I just did everything together. Even now as I stand here, Ronald is with me. And I'm glad, because we laughed a lot. Here we are, Erskine Ferry on the Clyde. We would paddle there, we made sandcastles in the, in the River Clyde. Ronald, at an early age, made excellent sandcastles, far better than mine. And I realised my role was to do everything that Ronald asked me to do, and never complain, and always find it funny. Here we are on the chains of the old ferry, which we use so often, because the parents, the father's family, near Loch Lomond in uh, Alexandria and around there. Ronald always wanted to touch the chain to work out how did the ferry get across the river. He was studying the tide. We can see here the tide has just passed full tide. The water is coming down from Glasgow on the far side there and you can see the nature of the chain. We are not touching the chain because Father said don't touch it. We did everything that Father said. Here I, Ronald, in charge of the wee tricycle. He was never any good at cycling. He was very slow to write. Very, very slow. But he was telling me what to do, and you can see me trying to enjoy it. It was great fun. Ronald, what did Mother mean by saying he was difficult? He, she said he was pernickety. Good Scottish word. He was always fiddling. He was never not doing anything. And that was a standard practice in our house. It still is in my house, as the family will remember. There was never a moment when you had nothing to do. He was fiddling. He would fiddle with everything. He would fiddle with a kettle. He would fiddle with switches. Uh, he, he would fiddle, fiddle, fiddle uh, away, not doing anything. But brother thought there was something. Things had to be clean, neat. He had to have peace. He never cooked a thing in his life that I know of. He was always fed. He controlled the entire house. If he wasn't there, Mother would say, where's Ronald? And I would say, he's winding wire. He spent his life winding wire. Small bits of wire, big bits of wire. Where is he? He's in the toy room, as we used to call it. Piled up with junk. Because, as I say, we kept everything. He was making things. Meccano was a great thing for Ronald. There's a clock made of Meccano. He made umpteen clocks. He had appeared a clock that was 12 foot high with a battle organ in it and made it work. Patients came to the house with things to, from to repair. Father would come back from a visit and he loved his patients with a chunk of metal or a chunk of wood. That and the patient would say, maybe Ronald can use that. And he did. Bits of metal, everything was kept, never, ever, ever thrown out. Up on the top right hand there, that's a radio control gadget when he made it, when he was still at school. It worked. It had a, a wee petrol engine that he made. It was water cooled. It only had one problem. Problem one was the cat. The cat thought this was a kind of creature and walked around a lovely garden sniffing all the time. There was a snag. Because of the limitations of Meccano and Ronald not yet being an engineer, uh, which he became really, uh, it took, it go straight, but to go left, it would go left. But then to go right, it had to go right through the centre position and go over to the right. Engineers will understand that. I'm not quite sure what you call it. The result was the cat loved walking behind this object because it never went in a straight line. This is an experiment that I've never understood, like all Ron's experiments. I never knew what he was doing. He didn't talk about it. This is this gadget. I'm calling it the Hughes... This is the Hughes Dreaver? The Hughes Dreaver experiment. The Hughes Dreaver experiment. Um, can you, can you tell us in a sentence, Douglas, what it did? What it measured? It measures space in all directions. Thank you. It measures space in all directions. And I think it's a very unique experiment uh, because it was much praised. And I think it measured things with enormous accuracy. 
He spent months making this thing, winding wire. Every wire was insulated with different kinds of material, different colours. Beautifully made, a plastic container, that plastic thing there, it contained lithium. Ronald will be up all night measuring and measuring and measuring. Didn't go to bed. Sleep for Ronald was a nuisance, just like food was. But Mother knew that and she would watch her and see that, that, that all, all was well. 